Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, it's been a while. Uh, something completely different from your normal uh, fire report. Um, I'm working in, I've got a, a metal shop in Chico, and I'm working in here today. And um, just finished up um, kind of the rough forging on six small axes. This is kind of the first stage of making some hatchets. So uh, been working on tooling here. Um, we're doing something different here for the lookout this year. Um, I've got the shop and uh, don't get to use it as much as I want during you know, most of the year. But this time of year when it's not 110 degrees, I can come out and make some things out of metal. So I thought um, since the lookout's kind of all about um, land management and cutting bushes and brush and trees and taking care of the land, uh, we should sell some land management tools and uh, give me a chance to be in the shop. And, you know, this is kind of where I reclaim my sanity after, uh, you know, stressful, stressful times working on fires and uh, doing what I do in the summer. I want to tell a little story here. There's a story, you know, about all this stuff. And... Um, this hammer here has got quite the story. Uh, this is a power hammer. Um, the head on it weighs about 100 pounds and the machine itself weighs about 4,000 pounds. And uh, I use it to make tools. Um, and I've got another one here that's the little sister. Um, these hammers um, came out of the campfire. A buddy of mine had a shop up in Paradise and um, he got these hammers brand new. I know they look like they're about a thousand years old, but um, he bought them in May 2017, moved them into his shop in Paradise, um, was starting a blacksmith business up there. And then the campfire came, burned his place down, burned his shop down. And these machines were just kind of in the wreckage of his shop, but they're, um, they're just heavy duty cast iron and they're, you know, they're kind of indestructible. So um, I spent a while and we uh, refurbished them um, took them all apart. Um, there's some parts that needed to be heat treated over, um, but they work now and I'm using them to make these tools that I'm selling for the lookout. So I like this kind of, you know, I feel like the, this shop helps me kind of regain some of the sanity that I lost, um, working in the aftermath of the campfire on the ridge all winter. And, um, I'm glad that I got this stuff here from paradise that it still is living and that I can make things with it. And, um, that it can be useful. And, you know, this, this hammer is called Lucky John because my buddy lived on Lucky John Road uh, off Billy Road in Paradise. So uh, Lucky John, his sister here doesn't have a name yet. Uh, this is the kind of kid size hammer. But um, I'm going to mix in some footage here of um, how I make these axes. Um, local metal that I've gotten from, uh, it's kind of scrap from egg manufacturing. So uh, this, this is a shop. Look out, turns out the lookout, uh, lookout makes tools too. So, um, we're gonna sell some lookout brand axes, hatchets, uh, other kind of forestry type tools. Um, money will go back into um, my pocket, which helps me run the lookout. So, uh, win win for everyone. We're also gonna have some new hats and other merch up. So, uh, it's kind of wearing the, the holiday gift blitz. But, uh, here's a way you can support the lookout. Um, Got some axes done already. And I got a bunch of handles that are awaiting more axes. So, uh, got to get on it. But um, that's what's going on. Um, we'll talk a little bit. I'm going to do another video pretty quick here on other stuff we've been up to since fire season. I know price me wondering what, what just happened. We just dropped off the face of the earth, but it's uh, been super busy. Mainly doing work that I uh, took off from doing in August and September to, to work the lookout. I had to catch up with the other job. So stay tuned, but uh, that's the update from uh, Lookout Tool Company.